Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera Okey, uh, kali ni kita mula dengan uh, Tajuk yang baru semester 1 Untuk Chemistry STPM Okey, our first chapter is Atoms, Molecules and Stoichiometry Part 1 Okay, fundamental particles of an atom. Okay, kita mula-mula sekali kita tengok apa dia subatomic particles of an atom. Okay, do you still remember the subatomic particles? Okay, we have three subatomic particles. Okay, they are. First, we have neutron. Okay, with the symbol N. Okay, another one we have proton. Symbol of proton is P. Uh, both neutron and proton is uh, located in the nucleus. Okay, untuk proton kalau awak tengok dia ada uh, positif. Okay, positif mean positive charge. Okay, untuk neutral there is no charge mean uh, neutral. Okay, for neutron. Okay, and another one we have electron. Okay, so the charge of electron is negative. Okay, the symbol is E. Okay, any differentiate between uh, proton, neutron, and electron. Okay, uh, as you can see, the mass, the relative mass, okay, and the relative charge. Okay, charge for proton is positive 1, neutron 0 means neutral, and electron is negative 1. Okay, the mass for electron is very light. Okay, electron is a lighter mass okay compare to proton and neutron okay uh, kalau kita tengok sini berat untuk proton dan neutron hampir sama 1 okay but electron is 1 over 1834 means dia sangat-sangat ringan okay 1 amu amu ialah atomic mass unit Okay, uh, 1 gram is equal to 6.02214 times 10 power of 23 AMU. Okay, effect of electron, uh, sorry, effect of electric and magnetic fields on subatomic particles. Okay, here we have electric field. Okay, so dekat electric field kita ada positive plate and negative plate. Okay, protons will deflected towards the negative plate. Okay, jadi bila kita uh, lalukan atom, okay, the subatomic particles here, okay, dia akan melalui dekat plate ni. Protons dia akan deflected towards the negative plate okay because proton is positive charge so positive charge dia akan attract dengan negative plate okay for electrons okay will deflected towards the positive plate okay different charge dia akan attract each other and for neutron is undeflected because neutron is no charge okay jadi dia tak akan terpesong ke mana-mana lah Okay, the lighter electrons are deflected more than the heavier protons. Okay, kalau kita tengok sini, um, electrons, okay, kenapa dia deflect lebih besar, lebih jauh berbanding dengan proton? Sebab elektron dia sangat ringan, jadi dia mudah terpesong uh, pergi lebih jauh berbanding dengan proton. Okay, here we have... Uh, Beta and alpha. Beta and alpha ni is ah uh, unknown, okay? Jadi awak boleh apa? Okay, jadi ah uh, boleh tukar nak guna beta alpha boleh, nak guna uh, x y boleh, okay? Uh, tak ada masalah. Uh, nak guna apa apa simbol pun boleh. Cuma dia nak tunjukkan dekat sini beta is bigger than alpha okey sudut yang dihasilkan oleh beta lebih besar daripada alpha sebab proton is more deflected eh sorry 
electron is more it deflected uh, compared to proton. Okay, and this one is, is we call magnetic fields. Okay, untuk magnetic field dia menggunakan uh, south pole and north pole. Okay, so electron dia akan deflect towards the north pole. Manakala proton dia akan deflected towards the south pole. Proton number. Okay, the symbol of proton number is Z. Okay, also called atomic number. is the number of protons in its atom and is equal to the number of electrons in orbit around a neutral atom. Okay, neutral atom, contoh magnesium atom, chlorine atom, okay, sodium atom, itu adalah neutral. Okay, uh, jadi bila neutral atom, bilangan elektron dan bilangan proton adalah sama. So, proton number is equal to the number of protons. Next, we have nuclear number. The symbol is A. So, nuclear number is also called mass number. Okay, it's the total number of protons and neutrons in its atom. The sum of the number of neutrons and protons in nucleus. Okay, so nuclear number is a... Uh, Total number of protons and neutron in the nucleus. Okay. So we call nuclear number. Ions. Okay, ions are formed when an atom receive or donate electron. Okay, so dalam neutral atom, bilangan elektron sama dengan bilangan proton. Tetapi bila dia uh, menderma elektron ataupun menerima elektron, okay, bilangan elektron dah tak sama dengan proton, jadi dia menjadi ion. It's become ion. So, ion kita ada dua. Yang pertama ialah positively charged ion or cat ion are produced when metal atoms donate electron okay bila dia menderma electron dia menjadi cat ions okay so a cat ion has more protons than electrons okay kita tengok contoh for example we have magnesium okay the number of proton for magnesium is 12 Okay, and the number of electron is 10, okay, because it donate two electrons, okay. Kalau uh, magnesium, 2, 8, 2, the electronic configuration, electron arrangement dia ialah 2, 8, 2, okay. So, dia akan release two electron is become 2, 8, okay. Jadi, bilangan elektron dia kurang daripada bilangan Proton, okay, sama juga dengan aluminium ion and potassium ion, okay. Jadi magnesium, aluminium, potassium, dia akan release electron to achieve octet electron arrangement, okay. Ah, ni semua octet electron arrangement, okay. Okay, next we have uh, negative negatively charged ion. So, negatively charged ion or an ion are produced when metal atom receive electron. Okay, uh, bila menerima elektron, dia jadi an ion. Contohnya, kumpulan 17 uh, macam chlorine, fluorine, iodine, dia accept electron okay so bila dia accept electron dia menjadi n ion so n ion has more electrons than proton okay jadi untuk ion uh, number of proton dia uh, kurang berbanding dengan elektron uh. so dia mesti terima dua elektron sorry untuk oksigen dia terima dua elektron sebab dia nak mencapai octet electron arrangement okay 
Ah, sorry, kita dua lapan, okay. Kemudian kita ada klorai ion dua lapan lapan, fosforus ion pun sama dua lapan lapan, okay. Dia nak mencapai octet elektron arrangement. Okay, standard representation of an atom. Okay, we have X. X ialah symbol of element. Okay, kalau symbol of element, contoh untuk uh, sodium. Okay, sodium, the symbol is Na. Okay, ataupun in Malay, natrium. Kemudian kita ada uh, lead. Okay, the symbol of lead is PB or in Malay we call uh, plumbum. Okay, uh, ini contoh-contoh uh, symbol of element. Okay, kita guna X. Next, we have A. A ialah nuclear number. Okay, nuclear number is the total number of proton number and number of neutron. Okay, itu nuclear number. And Z, we have Proton number, okay? Ah, uh, ini ialah standard representation of an atom. Macam mana awak nak tulis dia punya simbol, okay? Nuclear number, the proton number. Example, okay? Calculate the number of proton, neutrons, and electrons in the following species, okay? A, we have nitrogen. Okay, we want the uh, number of proton. Okay, here is number of protons. Number of neutron. And number of electron. Okay. So, for nitrogen, okay, the nuclear number, sorry, the number of proton is equal to 7, okay. Number of neutrons is 14 minus 7 equals to 7. And number of electron, okay, kita tahu number of electron sama dengan proton, that is 7, but the other charge, Okay, dia ada charge negative 3 means dia terima 3 elektron. So, is equal to 10. Okay. For B, we have hydrogen. Okay, 3 hydrogen. So, 3 plus, okay. Oxygen, we have 1 oxygen. 8 equal to 11. Okay, number of neutron. Okay, for hydrogen, is 0 because 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, oxygen 16 minus 8 so equal to 8. Okay, and for electrons, okay, kita tambahkan electron, uh, kita ada proton 11 but we have charge here positive 1 means they release 1 electron so here is 10. Okay. Uh. Okay. And for C, we get 30, 30 and 32. Okay. Next, STPM 2014. The Proton number of ion Y is 16. Its nuclear number is 33 and it has the same number of electrons and neutrons. Okay, what is the charge of ion Y? Okay, jadi kita tengok proton number. Okay, number of proton equal to 16. Okay, nuclear number number is equal to 33 okay has the same number of electron and neutron so kita boleh kira number of neutron is equal to uh, 17 okay so 17 ni sama dengan number of electron okay jadi Proton 16, neutron 17 means dia ada extra. Okay, extra 
one electron okay extra one electron maksudnya they receive one electron so bila they receive one electron they, their charge must be negative one okay Okay, so that's all for chapter one, part one. Okay, we'll be, we will be continue in the part two.